must save her. My daughter. How's it going, guys? Oh, she said hello at the same time. How's it going, guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild. For you guys today, as always, it's still raining in Zora's Domain because we haven't beaten the Divine Beast yet. But before we do that, let's break some pots. And, oh, Link got angry there for a second. We're going to do a little cooking with Lucian. That's right. It's time to cook some food. Let's see. I have so many materials, and I need some more stamina recovery food especially. So let's see if I have anything that can do that. I think we should. All right, here we go. Stamina kebabs. So what I like to do is just take one of these. Just one. I get a good camera angle. I guess it's kind of hard with these. See, just one stamina kebabs will do a complete wheel of stamina which is why i really like these comes in super handy when i'm trying to climb up a cliff or when i'm trying to sail a really far distance on my paraglider these are a lifesaver let's just go ahead and cook up all of these really quick and then uh i don't know, even know if i need to do much cooking other than the stamina because i do have a lot of uh hearty foods already cooked up because to be honest i haven't really been using them and I have a lot of hearty ingredients that I could still be using to make even more if I wanted. Let's see. So now I have... I got a few, I got a few stamina recovery options here. Um, let's see. The, I have a, see, see all these hearty? I have a lot of hearty meals here. I mean, I guess we could make some more though. We could make one that's like super hearty. Let's cook all three of these hearty baths. See what we get. Yeah, plus six. Six extra hearts. We also have a bunch of hearty durians. We can cook, I don't know, let's just do four of these and see what we get. Plus 16? Okay, that's insane. Let's just do two of these. Is that plus eight? Yep, so they give plus four hearts. Wow. I'll cook a couple more of these. I doubt we'll even need them. Maybe when we fight the Lionel if I get my butt kicked. But other than that, speaking of the Lionel, I'm going to cook some of these Zap Shrooms. Zap Shrooms are giving me lightning electricity or lightning resistance. <laughs> There's level 3 shock resistance for 15 minutes. That's probably all I need, guys. I think, uh, I think that's probably it. I do want to cook these meat, but the faster way that I like to cook meat is actually just to throw it near a fire and cook them that way because then they're individually cooked. I don't like to cook the meat like on the fire itself. It just makes more hearts than I need. I'm going to set these next to the fire like that. Ah, she doesn't like it. She's like, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. No, this is how I like to cook, lady. Chill. See? Bam! Five seared steak. That's what I like. Uh, I'm going to do one more of those because I do have a lot of meat here. Let's do it with the prime. Prime steak, lady. This is how you cook prime steak in Hylia. In Hyrule, sorry. <laughs> Look at those big old steaks. They're like 12 inches thick. There we go. See what I mean? Alright, now we're ready. What should we do today, guys? What should we do? Um, I think we're actually going to head into the northern regions up here. So, easiest way to do that, actually, would be to get the Zora's armor. Should I fight the Lionel in this video, guys? Let's go talk to the Zora King. We're getting pretty close to having enough heart. Actually, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm not going to do it until I have the Master Sword. You know what? I'm not talking to any of the rulers of the four major races until I have the Master Sword. So instead, 
Let's head to the stables over here so we can pick up Epona. Still can't pick up Cookie because Cookie's dead. Cookie ra actually ran off the cliff and died. Rest in peace, Cookie. And uh, I will revive Cookie, but it's going to cost 2,000 rupees. I have the money, but it's kind of far out of the way. So, Cookie, if you're going to do something that stupid to run off a cliff and die for no reason, you're going to stay dead for a little while as your punishment. And not only that, I've been wanting to take Epona out on a, on a ride for a little while now anyways. Alright, so it seems like no matter where we go, it's raining. But it looks like the rain will stop shortly, so that's the good news. Wow, I actually have a full wheel of stamina from sleeping on the waterbed. It, it not only gives you the three hearts, but the extra stamina wheel. I did not realize that. It's pretty awesome. Here we are. Get some loot. Ooh, another double axe right there. Actually, I should be using the double axe to break stuff. It's my main breaking stuff weapon, if you know what I mean. I love the stables music so much. Hey, Beetle. I don't really need anything from him, though. Let's just go ahead and pull out opponent while we're here. Yeah. Take horse. Hmm? Epona's been chilling in the t stables for too long. We need to get her some exercise. Oh. Oh. Hey, Epona. How are you today? <laughs> Actually, you're such a good girl. You probably got spoiled while you were staying at the stables. I know they take good care of you, but I missed you a lot. So here's some apples. Man, they did a good job making Epona look so good in this game. Oh, Beetle, you're finally coming out. Man, Epona was hungry. Sometimes I give Cookie apples. Cookie doesn't even eat the apples. Epona, she'll eat it all. Alright, Epona. You're all fed. I say we head east along this road. What say you, Epona? Let's go. See you guys. Thanks for taking care of her. Alright. Let's go explore. Into the unknown. A white lizard? I don't think we've ever fought a silver lizard boy. I'm gonna hit him with my sickle. Wow, that's a really good club. Drop the weapon. I forgot we can use stasis on enemies now. Oh! What? Wow! One hit and I was dead. I haven't died in a long time. I think that's death number 15. <sighs> I had a lot of hearts. I mean, I had like 13 hearts, I think. And I still died? Wow, it spawned me way back here. That was very unfortunate. Oh, I didn't even see there's a quest right here, though. Okay. I think he just wants balloons. Wait, don't I have some? I do! Alright. Wait. Do you want... Wait, what do you want? Oh, he wants me to tie it onto a barrel. Oops. Um, is there another barrel I can uh, borrow real quick? Is there one over here? No barrels? 
No barrels. Alright, sorry kid. I'll do that next time I come back. Epona, get over here. Alright. Where's Epona? She... I gotta take out Epona again. She, she must still be up there fighting the lizard or something, man. What a trooper. Let's pull out... Zumor, the... the Twilight Wolf. Oh. And we're gonna take Epona again. Mm. Epona's boarded. Okay, so it didn't even... It didn't even keep the progress, I guess. I hope oh. that Silver Boy ah. is still up there because... Yep. We're gonna go kill him. Huh. Reason I want to kill him yeah. is because Silver Boys drop the best loot. And Lizards are even better than Bow Coblins, so they're gonna drop yeah. even better loot. <laughs> Oh, he's not here anymore? Dang, we missed our- Oh, yes, he is. Oh, he's not silver this time. That time. Oh, there's the silver boy. Oh, a couple. There's a lot of really hard lizards all along this path. A lot of them. Worth. One hit and I'm dead. One hit. One hit and I am dead. I tried to shock him, and he dodged. Feels bad. Come on, man. Oh, okay, now I can do the quest. Where's those balloons? Do I have any octo balloons? I do. Wait, I just did it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa, nice camera. <laughs> hey, a star fragment. All right, that was worth. All right, those wow. lizards are really strong, man. Oh. And there was so many of them. I feel like that's a high level road. Ooh. Ooh. We might actually, you know what? Instead of just running in there and dying again, let's equip our better armor. That Maybe I won't die in one hit. That's what's just destroying me. One hit KOs, man. One hit KOs are really hard, <laughs> obviously. All right, let's go, let's go. This time for sure. We're not gonna die. But you know what, guys? The harder the path, the greater the reward. I'm using a good bow, too. It's not like I'm not using a good bow. I really want to kill the silver one right here. Just do some more damage to him, you know. I mean, I never use special arrows, so might as well. There we go. I made him drop his weapon. That's what I really wanted. Oh, 
Oh, he hit me again. But this time I live because of my armor. See what I mean, guys? It worked out. Get him, Wolf Link. Oh my... That's all right. I actually like that he's doing that because I'm actually having to use my my armor and stuff. I took his weapon. Don't go back there by the other lizards, man. Come up here. Did I kill him? He actually picked up the vicious sickle? I have a lot of good weapons, guys. We got him. Look at that. Ruby, opal... Oh yeah, another one's up there. Oh my gosh, a red one too? That's gonna be difficult. No, guys, I'm just gonna run right by. Is that a blizzard rod? No, it's just an ice rod. I'm gonna drop the uh, lightning rod for the ice rod because the ice rod is actually better. It freezes them, which is actually super, super useful in combat. Alright, Cookie, this place is crazy. Is this the end of the road, literally? Alright. Where are we at? Let's, uh, am I looking for shrines? I am. Alright, I don't think I need this armor anymore. Let's put our climbing armor on. I think we might need it. Oops. What I'm doing now at this point is I'm looking for the new tower. These stupid ostrich emu things are kind of freaking me out. Um, man, I guess we have to actually keep going up the mountain to find it because there is nothing over here. This is like a wasteland. Beautiful, but a wasteland. We're getting pretty close to Death Mountain. That's probably why there's so many white and red guys, because normally this is like one of the last areas you explore. And we are not, you know, leveled up to that point where it's going to be easier. But I accept the challenge. Master mode, going to Death Mountain early, who cares. Alright guys, we're picked up a shrine. Pretty soon the temperature might start getting hot, so we'll see. Keep our eye on that. I would love to be able to do a shrine in this video. What's up here? Shrine sensor's going crazy. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we found the shrine. Where's the tower? There's Death Mountain. All right, let's let's climb up there and then fly down to the shrine. I'm surprised I'm not burning on fire yet. I'm getting really close.
Those butterflies are actually really useful because they, they have fire resistance. Alright, we might start on fire, guys, but... Yep. Literally, all of my stuff is burning. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, Link. Calm down. It hurts a little bit. It hurts a little bit, but you know what? Sometimes you need to just take the pain for the greater good. We're gonna get this shrine before I die and all my equipment breaks. I'm pretty sure the tower is nearby as well. Hopefully you don't need like fire resistance gear to uh, complete the shrine. A balanced approach. All right. This shrine looks pretty cool. Let's look around a little bit. So... I can break those barrels up there, I guess. Do I really have to waste a, uh, a bomb arrow or something? I guess there's torches right there. I could use a regular arrow. Like so. That would have also worked fine, probably. What is that? Oh, it's the key. Oh, these barrels don't don't really break. Alright, we got the key, so that'll allow us to use these crates, which would be a lot easier. Three. All right. First, I want to get the treasure. Oops. Give me that treasure. good weapon um, I like the double axe but this does like double the damage so I got multiple of these I need to use them more um all right I guess that was pretty much the puzzle I just have to do this part now I have to have one on there so that I don't go up into the spikes. That much is, is certain. Oh really? 
That's not enough weight, huh? Lift this a little bit, then it is. <laughs> we do it my way. Um, yeah, we're gonna die as soon as we go out there, so I should probably eat, huh? Got the shrine, but at what cost? We almost burned alive. Let's see if I can find the tower real quick. Got a spirit orb. Wait, I'm like standing in the middle of lava, aren't I? I don't even think I can get out of here. This may be bad, guys. This may be bad. Do I have anything that is like heat resistance as far as food goes? I'm not really even sure that I do. I didn't think that out. I should have cooked some, man. We did cooking with Lucian. I didn't even cook any heat resistance. Okay, now I'm burning alive. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Okay, I can't even... I can't even walk here, guys. I can't even walk around here. Alright, let's warp to this tower. And then I might be able to see the other tower. I can't even use the Magnesis because every time I take damage, it kicks me out. So I was like just doomed right there. I think we need to make some fire resistance elixirs and then we'll be able to more easily explore that region. But we do need to get the tower for that region. Oh yeah, remember there's a royal claymore up here. Not sure how you get up there. Let's see. Oh yeah. Finally getting the royal claymore. Uh Right then. Boom. That's a nice looking weapon. So, alright, no, we can't see anything because it's a giant mountain in between us. Last that way though. How come every time I want to do it, it doesn't work, but when I do it in practice, it works fine? There we go. I went cold. And hot. Let's go. I don't want to get too close to the fire this time. I just want to look for the tower. If we get up high, we should be able to find it. Man, they should really add some, like, music that isn't just piano when I'm in a death, like, fiery volcano region. Oh, fire rock boys. Oh, that is cool. You almost killed me. 
my gosh. Link, come on. There we go. Dang, those guys are actually really strong. He's like, don't come back up. Something better than just uh, flint and rock salt, please. Some amber. Ooh, that's a fire boy. Oh, you can see the divine beast tail. We're actually getting kind of close. Oh man, I just realized we're at 30 minutes, guys. We gotta end the episode. Let's see if we can at least spot the tower up on this mountain. Need to find a rock to put right there. Oh no. Whoa. I think we just found a memory or something, guys. Ah, oh, our first memory was up by Death Mountain. And we needed to find a memory, so now we can go talk to Impa, and she'll give us a champion's tunic. Oh, that is awesome. Just found it by complete chance, too. That cut doesn't look too bad, actually. Line You're up, fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. I just killed all it of the worst enemies. Not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that... I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And... If that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. Yes, princess. <gasps> nice. <clears throat> All right, where is this tower? Ooh, I think we found it, guys. Two towers. The two towers. And I found that stone that we need. Oh, there's actually... I need another stone. Slightly extended episode. <laughs> Why are you doing way up here, Clark boy? You're gonna get burned up. Alright guys, we found the towers. Boom and boom. So we know what to do. Thank you guys for watching so much. And uh, I really enjoyed this, guys. Next episode, we're gonna go get those towers for sure. I might need to make some fire, uh, anti-fire elixirs, which um, if, I, if I could find some... Uh, I forget what they're called, fireproof lizards or something like that. And there's also the summer wing or some certain butterflies. We can do it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please drop a like if you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.